Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Uh, before we get started, I do want to let you guys know that I have my Christmas giveaway going on right now. It ends very soon, so if you guys have not entered, make sure you check that out. I'll have that video linked down below so you guys can go ahead and head over there and enter. And good luck to all you guys. I have actually recently hit 2K. That is so exciting. I have been waiting and waiting to do a 2K giveaway. So hopefully that will come in January. So make sure you guys stay tuned for that. Uh, yeah, so let's go ahead and unbag our Ipsy Glam Bag Plus. I have not opened it yet. This actually arrived yesterday. But you know, it's the busiest time of year, right? <laughs> So I have not had time for anything. I don't know about you guys. All right, so this is the bag this month. It is super cute. It definitely reminds me of, I don't know, like Santa Claus satchel. <laughs> it's really, really soft and fuzzy, which I find super soothing. Um, so yeah, it's a really nice bag. All right, ooh, a lot of good goodies. Okay. The first item I see is a full size uh, blush palette from Lovecraft Beauty. Now, I can't remember where I've seen this before. I don't know if it was a BoxyCharm or if it has been Ipsy. However, I have not received this. Um, so I'm actually really excited that this is in here for me, even if it is a repeat item in one of the subscription boxes. Uh, so yeah, these shades are really, really pretty, you guys. So that's this right here definitely right up my alley when it comes to color choices so very excited that this is in here all right the next item we have wow this is some nice packaging uh, it is a eyeshadow palette from Ivy Y Beauty and it's called Fireside look at that that is really cool so you got the little flames everything's golden and it's kind of like a, I love how shiny it is this is wonderful packaging and on the back it shows all the shades that are in the palette uh, and it does say that it is an Ipsy exclusive so that's pretty exciting now I haven't really tried too much from Ivy Y Beauty I've gotten a little couple things here and there, but I usually just pass them on because it's usually like a single shadow or maybe a blush or something like that. So I'm excited to see. Ooh, now this is a nice little palette. Uh, I like the pop of green. So this is what it looks like on the inside. You get a nice mirror and it says, hey, hot stuff, fireside. That's cute. Uh, so these are the shades. I mean, it's definitely not anything mind-blowing, but it, it is. Pretty, it does have really pretty shades, and I love the name. The name actually really suits uh, the name of the palette. So you have Snow Bunny, Hot Cocoa, S'mores, Nippy, Hoodie, Cozy Up, Black Ice. Those are really fun names. So I definitely will have to go back and see what we can do with this. The next item we have is from, ooh, I'm excited for this. <laughs> this is from Dominique Cosmetics. This is a skin gloss, all over the skin enhancer, and this is in the shade Golden Dew. So this is what the packaging looks like. I'm actually a big fan of Dominique Cosmetics. So, so excited. So this is the packaging, very sleek, very pretty. Uh, I like the weight to it, and Aw, little Mira says choose to shine. That's cute. So this is the shade right here. Let's go ahead and do a swatch. Oh, that feels like butter. So this is like a cream, cream highlighter. All right. So there is your swatch right there. Very pretty. Very lightweight too. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm going to love that. This is something I could definitely wear uh, throughout the whole entire day, especially at work. So that makes me super, super happy. Now, the next item we have is a choice item. I know this because I wasn't really excited about the choices. Um, <laughs> I do not wear fingernail polish at all. And actually, it's... Um, it's like on there of, of things that I don't like. How I, I don't remember exactly how it's set up on the uh, the little questionnaire, but fingernail polish is like a no for me uh, because I cannot wear it anyway due to work. 
and of all all of the um, options were not that great and the thing that probably intrigued me the most was fingernail polish and it's like my least favorite thing <laughs> I do like the shade on here so maybe I can use it as like you know uh, for my toes in the summertime because I do get pedicures gotta get a pedicure every single month but uh yeah let's see if I can put this on here oh <laughs> I thought that was the the brush but it's not it is a little cute packaging I like that it's super heavy I like the color if my daughter doesn't take this from me first <laughs> All right, so there's the color right there. But uh, yeah, we'll see how that works out for the summertime for a pedicure. Okay, we have a couple items left, two items left. This is from Ciate London. This is the Eye Luster Cream Eyeshadow. Now Ciate London is definitely a favorite brand of mine. Uh, this is cruelty free. Now I do not have anything like this from them, so this is super, super exciting. Oh, it's so pretty. It's like a shimmery, goldish, silver, purple. Oh, oh it's so pretty. Let's give this a swatch. Oh, yes. I would wear this all over the lid. Wow. Wow. Look at that. That is absolutely crazy intense. Like I said, it has like a shift of gold. You can, can definitely see the purple. That is beautiful. That is so beautiful. I cannot wait to do a look with this. And last, yes, very happy with this. So uh, this is, now this item actually, it was an add-on. <laughs> my bad this isn't part of the bag so I added this on this is my ultimate favorite lip of all time um, I actually do have quite a bit of Huda Beauty uh, liquid lips in my collection uh, I mostly like the matte formula just because it doesn't go anywhere but the uh, the demi matte is gorgeous now this is in the shade boss I'm always on the hunt for like that perfect plum deep vampy shade and I have yet to find the one that looks good on me so hopefully this is it so this is pulling a little brown but this is the shade right here you know what let's go ahead and just take off this lip gloss and test this out So this is definitely darker than what I was hoping for. I mean, it's still a very pretty shade. It's definitely, definitely vampy, but um, I was looking for a little bit more of purple. I don't know. It almost looks black from far away, does it not? Almost looks black from far away. Hmm. All right. Anyways, so let's go back over the bag very quickly. So we have the skin gloss from uh, Dominique Cosmetics. This is probably one of my favorite products in this bag, along with the Ciate London Liquid Eyeshadow. <sighs> These make the bag so good. Now I am super excited to try this eyeshadow palette. It's definitely up my alley. The packaging is really nice. Um, and then of course the Lovecraft Beauty uh, blush palette has all the colors that I like and a fingernail polish. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I think this is still a really, really good bag. Even though I wasn't impressed with the choices in this category, this is still so, so good. All right, guys, so that was it for this unbagging. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please give me a big ol' thumbs up. Don't forget to check out that giveaway that I have going on. And yeah, I'll see you guys on the next one. Bye.